What do you think is like a common misconception about the university? Ooh, that... Um... What do you think about the current state of education in the Philippines as a whole? I'm not sure if the government has actually acknowledged it, but we're having an educational crisis at the moment. Hey everyone, today I'm going to ask students here at the University of the Philippines about their opinion on the educational system in the Philippines. So let's go! Your name, your grade and your uh, major. So I'm Simon. I'm a sophomore in Bachelor of Arts and Linguistics. Okay. I am Gian. I am a freshman in Bachelor of Sports Science. I am Ralph Padilla and I'm a fourth year BA Speech Communication student here in UP Diliman. Hello, I'm Ches Guenca. I'm a fourth year student at Speech Communication. That's my course. Hello, I'm Vince. And what do you major? Um, I'm majoring in speech communication and I concentrate in rhetoric and performance. Okay. What's your favorite thing about the university? The environment and the surroundings. It's always nice to have something like therapy every, every time. I hear about English. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to relieve all the stress whenever something is overwhelming in any aspect of your life. For me, I think it's the same, but on top of that, I really like the people. The people are so diverse in UP. You get to meet people from like different economic backgrounds, different cultures. Some students in Diliman are from Mindanao, some are from Visayas, and just uh, seeing life in the world through their lenses, it's, it's a wonderful experience. What's your favorite thing about the university? Uh, my favorite thing about the university is that we get to enjoy a lot of freedom in terms of academics and how we express ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, especially from clothing, from the topics we choose in, um, in um, covering our papers. We get to decide things we want to tackle, the things uh, we want to assess and uh, mm -hmm. be critical with, uh, with them. What are the qualifications to enter UP? Oh, so objectively speaking, you have to be one of the top students. It's either yeah. that or because UP was originally made to be the university of the people. Yeah. So originally, people, students who came into UP were sons of farmers, sons of workers. Yeah. So there's also that factor, your economic background. Yeah. And lastly, coming into UP should have this sense of like serving the country. So those, those three. I think you really need to have uh, courage because yeah. uh, UP as a university, it has like this connotation that only like great students can enter. But mm -hmm. like if you're courageous enough to try things out, yeah. maybe the luck will be in your favor. And then you also be always prepared because okay. uh, you don't know if like uh, what you like exert in mm -hmm. school or like in everything in life will be enough in UP. So what do you think is like a common misconception about the university? Um, probably one of the biggest misconceptions about the university and the UP community in whole is that we are entirely against the government mm -hmm. uh, with the things we do, with our papers, with our or the um, things we share online, especially our academic uh, discussions, forums like that. Mm -hmm. But in truth, um, we're actually trying to work with the government in terms of solving um, social issues and the like. Ooh, that um, a lot of us are the typical activists that goes to the mountains and all, uh, and we're like super, super anti-government. I think we can be, uh, you know, critical for government. I think that's important. I think that we uh, we have that misconception within us UP students. It's because um, compared to other schools, we're taught to be critical of mm -hmm. you know any type of status quo, of any type of knowledge that isn't you know. Um, that isn't beneficial to everyone in society. That we're all smart. Okay. So, uh, it's not. Uh, the university trains you to be. So okay. I think that's one of the misconceptions. What are the most exciting or innovating projects that are being done here in the university and how are they going to have like an effect later on in the future? Mm -hmm. I think uh, UP Fair. I really like UP Fair. Aside from it, like promotes OPM yeah. every night. There's like an advocacy they pushed through. Like just this February, they mm -hmm. pushed through like urban poor. They also like really fought for gender equality, safe spaces, like uh, uh, jeepney phase out. You know, um, I love it how like they unite people into like one event and at the same time 
use uh, the opportunity to forward some costs. So what is UP Fair exactly? UP Fair is a concert, an advocacy concert being held here in the UP every February. Okay. And it's like a week-long OPM concert celebration. Mm. So. Uh, UP definitely has a lot of projects in terms of reaching out to the communities and to the government as a whole. But um, in my own experience, when the projects that I've participated in um, personally is uh, projects of organizations. For example, in one of my organizations, we actually reach out to the youth of our provinces to encourage them to be um, active, to actively participate in elections, in politics, in order to encourage uh, critical thinking, uh, to contribute to the society as a whole. In terms of academe, I think one of our, one of the projects that our college prides on is writing researches in our native tongue, which is Filipino. Yeah. So it's it's a highly, um, what do you call this, controversial topic, like the language Filipino. But still, writing um, research and materials in our own language is definitely a step towards um, building national identity yeah. and, you know, towards building a more Filipino nature and culture of knowledge. Right. What do you think about the current state of education in the Philippines as a whole? Definitely there's a big problem. Actually, um, I'm not sure if the government has actually acknowledged it, but we're having an educational crisis at the moment, considering how we're scoring very low in terms of international tests, assessments like that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and here, even, here, even here locally, um, there's problems with um, funding, with uh, access to classrooms and materials and so, and so forth. It's probably one of my challenge to our current, our current administration is um, to look for ways how we can uh, address these problems uh, in, uh, in, a, in, a, in a much more humane as possible. There is a great educational crisis in the country right now, especially with the current administration, uh, historical re revisionism in our textbooks, in our schools, especially in elementary and high school. But you know, as students of UP, mga scholar ng bayan, as we call ourselves, uh, it's really one of our tasks to be able to combat the educational crisis. And it's also um, one of the things that we are aiming to improve on. Especially as a student of linguistics, one of our core advocacies is multilingual mother tongue based education. So that's where uh, students from other regions in the country get to learn their first three years of school, so that's first grade until third grade, mm -hmm. in their mother tongue, mother tongue, so that they don't have to uh, double translate in their minds. What is something you wish you had known before you started studying here? I think I, I wish I was more socially aware, because um, I think being in the university, you really have to be confronted with different types of ideas and different types of worldview, as I've said. And I think um, I came from a very privileged background. Um, yeah, my my family is very privileged, and I came from like a private school. So going here from private school to um, a public university, a state university, um, you really have to have a lot of adjustment. Um, if I was given another opportunity to change the list of courses I wanted to go in, I would have changed that. So yeah, that's about it. And UP feel, felt like home naman na kasi I've been here a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So it didn't feel like I had to adjust to anything naman. Maybe just the high school to college environment. But yeah. Probably the um, idea of selecting our own courses. Because okay. um, in other universities, they actually give you a preset set of courses that you have to take per semester. Mm -hmm. But here in UP, you have to select your own courses per semester. So that usually leads to a lot of confusion, whether you're taking the correct courses or not. Because personally, I've had um, semesters wherein uh, I did not have a single unit. I, I had zero units. So I had to personally come up to professors to uh, have them sign to have me enrolled in their classes, okay. which was a real struggle for me. Mm. For me, maybe um, do not be afraid to make mistakes and to um, face failure because if something where you can you're allowed to make mistakes and fail freely it's in the university you know the university doesn't um, shame you for failing or not completing your subjects you know they tell our professors tell us it's fine as long as you've learned something and what you do afterwards from your mistakes and failure is what matters the most. Right, right. Uh, what's an advice you can give to someone wanting to study at the University of the Philippines? I think you really have to have one 
good study habits because the academic um, the academic requirements here are very ooh yeah and two you have to be really open minded because you really will face a lot of people who will know better than you or will know different from you will believe in different types of yeah different belief systems compared to you so you really have to be open-minded and to research and be accepting of these people another thing this bonus tip don't overwork yourself because what here's the thing about UV students you might get delayed if you become a working student too early and you'll be like oh my gosh I want to work no enjoy being a student guys because being a UV student is just one a one in a million chance so I think just keep pushing in every <laughs> aspect like kung ano gusto mo mangyari sa you push mo lang yan because there's nothing wrong and you won't lose anything naman so just like it's an essential in surviving, like kailangan mo lakasan yung loob mo. And that will really, you know, make you reach heights mm. and from personal experience. Right. Um, definitely, as much as possible, try to maximize your experience here. Yeah. Not just in academics, but in social life. Uh, UP has a lot of communities, um, sub-communities, uh, different hobbies, different mm. academic uh, interests. So try to explore each one and try to look for the place where you can fit the most and you can, where you can benefit the most. Right, right. For the future UP students, yeah. don't be afraid to take risks, to voice out your opinion, to stood your ground. Especially now that um, our physical well-being are being like harassed, we are being oppressed, we are being repressed, uh, we are needed, our voice are needed more than ever and I hope that everyone's just courageous enough to like really fight uh, for, for, for themselves, for their community, and uh, for like the cause they believe in. Do you think an educational uh, degree is necessary when it comes to your career afterwards? Um, definitely, and uh, especially here in the Philippines, an academic degree would certainly be uh, put you an advantage in terms of developing your career in the future. But uh, as we've seen in the past um, years, um, a diploma has seen less, people have been, has seen less interest in diplomas since other industries have started to uh, employ people who have no diplomas, who have no college degrees, mm -hmm. but and yet they succeed in those fields. So definitely it's all about um, your interest in terms of trying to develop yourself to maximize your learning as a person. For me, yes, especially in this kind of society we're living in, it's very meritocratic and capitalist, so definitely a yes for me. I think um, it really depends on your career. Of course, if you're going into professional career, duh, you have to have a degree. But then if, for example, you're in the creative industries or you're in the you know, vocational industries, I think in order to have a successful adult life, you have to experience what it's like being a college student. I'm not, I'm not saying here like, okay, go to college and then you don't have to graduate already. But I think the experience of being a college student, um, it's really different from being in high school where, you know, your, your plans and your routine is laid out for you. Having a college experience, at least, will set you up for a successful adult life. Yes. It has its pros and cons. I mean, if you graduate, like, in a good university, or basically you graduate in college, you have a head start. And there's like, a validation that you're capable but like I, I, I'd like to believe that you don't really need it at all because like as long as you're skilled enough you're determined and uh, you really know what you want then you go for it all right so that wraps up today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you to the students of the University of the Philippines for all of their insights and if this concept of a video interests you then let me know in the comments down below because then I might be making more of these I've also already made one where I went on the street and asked foreigners that live here in the Philippines about their routines and their habits. So yeah, if that also interests you, then you can check it out right there. Uh, so with all that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.